um, our background, our cultural background. I'm, I'm from Colombia. So I, I think uh, my, my high school years were, were a key part of, of this up, upbringing for me. Since I was in high school, then joining the university, which I, I believe it was one of the most uh, hard experience in, in, in the good sense, I would say. But uh, it was really worth it to go through it. I believe like since a young age, uh, most in my teenage years, I, I was passionate about design. In, in that moment, I didn't know exactly uh, that I was going to choose architecture as my pro professional path, but I was always like engaged in art. And in, in, in a point, I was really involved in, 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 in industrial design. So it was something I, I would say innate like I was I was uh, really passionate about without knowing why uh, I, I'm, I'm, I would like to say like to investigate more about uh, new architects new designers it, it was something that uh, that I was really passionate about the responsibility that I have towards my profession it's a it's a really a uh, big core value in in every sense like in a, in a professional way and, and this has pushed me towards, as I was saying before, towards investi investigating and comparing um, in, in every aspect of architecture, right? If you have the opportunity to, to study other architects, to study processes, right? Uh, this gives you a really good value when you are going to start designing. You always have like a, a first image about the project that you want to do, right? Yeah. But you need to work through it uh, to test. And uh, while, while you get more experience, uh, this, this design process is going to be, I believe, easier and it's going to be clearer, clearer uh, in terms of, uh, of, of how to approach, right? How to follow. And with time, I would say that it has become um, easier for me to identify uh, how to how to approach and, and how, what what to do right and i have been working in some office in which in some offices in which uh, i as an individual have been locked in my own thoughts and i believe they have a really good value but in the moment that you share them um, even your head expands i believe a good advice would be not to take things too, too personal when you're talking about the design and, and try to, to catch them and, and see them in a, an objective manner. Every, every time that a new, um, let's say, way of, of designing as parametric design appears, it's amazing um, in certain kind of way because new adepts appear, as I said before, and uh, this pushes the boundaries. So, I would say like the biggest challenge you, you face as an architect is to, of course, please the client, but convince that the work that you're doing is suitable for him. Sometimes it's not about the client, it's about your boss, yeah? Uh, the biggest uh, challenges is, is to, to please him and at the same time, you be satisfied with what you're doing. I, I would say, I would say is, is, is that, yeah. Uh, try to pursue the practices that you feel attracted to and uh, try to compare yourself and uh, try to to not only to be the best but to experiment don't, don't be afraid to to be wrong it, I, I know it sounds a little bit like a cliche but don't, don't be afraid to um, to experiment in each phase in, in this way you will start to develop a sense of what you really like what you really would like to to be involved in try to see your peers that are uh, older than you and try to check what they are doing uh, who are they involving with uh, and try try to imagine a path and for sure uh, be involved in internship in in competitions this will create a good profile for you and you will get better with your core values, with your skill, architecture skill sets, this, this will be a good advice that I can give you.